So there's a question from Rick from G. He said, all wholesaler, all wholesalers want cash deals that closing. So are you buying cash deals or we sure are. What do you say to wholesalers, what do you say to wholesalers to get them to do terms? Well, Rick, that's a great question. So first of all, I look at the deal at its face, what they're asking for it. We do our own analysis. In fact, uh, those of you who joined us for the pregame session that we did uh, on Thursday night or Saturday morning, we did an encore uh, of that session. By the way, if any of you missed that pregame that we did for the Millionaire Jumpstart, uh, I did some really cool things on that, uh, on that uh, event. And I even gave away a very powerful gift. I'm not going to tell you what it was, but uh, if you did not attend Thursday night or Saturday morning and you would like to have a recording of that, then simply go to the chat box and we will follow up with you and send you a recording of that. And you'll qualify for the special gift that I gave away on that, uh, on that very special session that I did. So now with that said, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> We're talking about wholesalers and you. Oh yeah. Wholesalers. Oh my gosh. So wholesalers, I do absolutely look at the numbers and do the calculations on the deal. And by the way, those of you who are coming to Jumpstart, that was one of the assignments that I gave on Thursday night was to come to the, come to the event with a deal, come to the event with something that you've analyzed and you've got the numbers on, and then we're going we're gonna to work that while you're in class. Now, with that said, I look at their numbers and if they've got a good offer and they've got it discounted right, I leave it alone. I don't try to get them to do terms because they don't have any money, Rick. Most of them are not rich um, and they don't have the ability to carry anyone over a long time. So what I have had though, Rick, is that they have, let's say the numbers just don't work. If the numbers don't work, then I'll go back and I'll actually recreate the deal. And I'll say, look, if you can go back to your seller and find out if there's existing financing on the property, find that out and tell me, all right, if there is good, then here's what I want you to do. And I'll literally coach them through working with that seller. Now, in some cases, we actually come together with the seller and you know, the wholesaler can be there. In fact, I was negotiating with a wholesaler this week to please let me talk to his seller <laughs> because I knew I could put the deal together if I could just get the wholesaler out of the way. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, sometimes, Rick, it's just best to, and I told this wholesaler, I said, look, we guarantee that you'll get your your cut on this deal. I'll sign whatever you want me to sign. I'll create something and send it to you. You're not going to get cut out of this deal at all. Uh, but I definitely think I could put this together. If you're interested in making some money, how much do you want? We'll make this happen for you. And, and Rick, the, the best thing to do, like I said, is if they don't have a good number is just to go back and renegotiate that number by going back to their having them go back to their seller or you going back to their seller. 